In this tutorial, we'll be using the TI-30XA calculator to compute the statistical values of mean, standard deviation, and variance. In a previous tutorial, I talked about how to enter the data. To remind you, enter each value and press the SUM PLUS button after each value. Let's assume you've entered the data 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 using this method. The calculator has already computed the statistics at this point. We just need to access them. The statistic we call the mean, or average, is the sum of the data divided by the number of the data. The button we will use is the second function of the x squared button, and its symbol is x with a bar over it. To get the mean, press second and x squared. The value of the mean, 3, should be displayed. The statistic we call the standard deviation measures the spread of the data about the mean. The button we will use is the square root button, which has sigma xn minus 1 printed above it. This sigma is the lowercase Greek letter sigma, which looks a little like the letter 0. To access the standard deviation, press second and square root. The standard deviation, 1.58 to three significant digits, should be displayed. The statistic we call the variance is another measure of the spread of the data about the mean, and it can be easily computed from the value of the standard deviation. It is defined as the square of the standard deviation. With the standard deviation still displayed on the screen, press the x squared button. The variance, 2.5, should be displayed. These statistical variables are the ones most often used to characterize a set of data. This tutorial has been about how to use the TI-30XA calculator to find them. If you are using a different calculator, the method to find these statistical variables is likely to be very different, and you should check the user's manual to see how to do it on your particular calculator.